welcome Share the Love family. Hey, Share the Love family. Around, we love you. Yes, around the table. We got our licorice straws. Licorice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's Jeremy's genius idea. <laughs> we want to thank you, all you geniuses, for um, sharing and subscribing. Yes, commenting. Spending time with us. Commenting. Boy, we got some comments. Thank you so much. I love them. And we'll, we'll respond to them. And we'll implement the suggestions that you have asked us to make. Thank you. Yeah, so today we're talking about grudges, holding grudges. Oh my goodness. Ooh. This happens with good friends, with families. Yes, it does. How many friends have been, um, you know, friendships have been, you know, disconnected because somebody held a grudge. Somebody couldn't forgive or couldn't get past an offense. We're in a pandemic, y'all. Yes, we are. It's important. You never know who who is going to pass away. Having an uh, unforgiving mindset. You could be the one, you know, to to uh, to sadly leave. And you don't want to leave here in this world holding any bitterness toward anybody. How about the movie we saw? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we, we were watching this great movie um, about... Um, first woman who won um, the, the Melbourne um, horse race in Australia and um, her father and her were at odds yeah he didn't yeah. want her to, to be a professional racer because her sister died so he stopped talking to her and she horse racing being a jockey is very dangerous very dangerous sport you, you could die. And she broke a lot of bones. She went unconscious. And um, he saw her in the hospital on the bed. And she looked like she was she was going to die. And he was so upset because he couldn't, he, he didn't forgive her. He didn't talk to her all those years. Yeah, all those years. All those years. So just don't, don't. You have to be bigger sometimes than the other person. And you have to my mother, my mother said to me, um, and I'm always quoting my mother, children are always going to be children, but adults can't go down to a child's level. That's right. There has to be, somebody has to have unconditional love. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you know, and you cannot let issues fester because the poison that you want to give to somebody else, you're eating it. Yeah, and it's destroying you. So forgive and forget. That's very important. You know, we might forgive people, but we'll always say, oh, well, I know their character. I know their people can change. People have, and if you allow you Jesus, if you allow God to, to make a change in you, you don't have to stay in a grudgeful, unforgiving, miserable mm. life. Mm. You can be happy. And those around you can be happy. That's good. That's really good. So we invite you, even now, I just take you through a prayer. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I choose. I choose. To forgive. To forgive. Anyone. Anyone that's done me wrong, that's done me wrong, living or dead. That's very important. Even if you can't say, I'm sorry to the person that passed away, do it in your heart, and God won't judge you for it. I'm sorry, that's all right. Good, and also say, I take back all ground, I take back all the ground I've given to the enemy, I've given to the enemy through unforgiveness. Through unforgiveness. Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We love you guys. We thank you ever so much. Keep sharing, keep subscribing and stay forgiving.
Something about your presence, I don't know. Something about your presence, I don't know. Do you ever get lonely for the Father? Do you ever get lonely for His presence and love? Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. You've been a rock in my heart. 